Madagascar is famous for its beautiful nature. The island with an area larger than France has a unique ecosystem. But the beautiful nature of the country has downsides, especially for the Malagasy people. It is one of the most vulnerable countries in terms of climate hazards. Tropical cyclones followed by great floods crack down the eastern part of Madagascar and trigger important damages. As for the southern part of the country, it is semi-desert with only 300 mm rainfall per year. This zone is subjected to the El Niño phenomenon. Since 2003, the NGO Tandavanala assists with support of ICO cooperation in Kerkin Axi vulnerable families through different actions to reduce disaster risks and secure livelihoods. According to our experiences of more than 10 years of intervention, we notice that we cannot properly fight against poverty without addressing disaster and risk problems. Environmental approach can limit disaster consequences and then contributes to sustainable development. The Disaster Risk Reduction and Community Sustainable Development Empowerment Project started a year ago and aims to reduce risks and prevent disasters in the southeast region of Madagascar. Damage to the coastal zone downstream is caused by environmental degradation, particularly to the vegetation cover in the upstream forest areas. Tandavanala has trained 50 local committees with more than 500 members in risk and natural disaster management. The NGO supports them with capacity building, organization and equipment. In collaboration with the committee's members, soil defense and restoration activities have been promoted in mountainous forest areas. 12 showcase sites were established. 120,000 bursts of strains plants such as vetiver have been planted to protect watersheds against erosion. Also hundreds of bamboo and other anti-erosion plants grow now on the shores of the Mati Tanana River to avoid the enlargement of the river. Besides three big plant nurseries were created and 120,000 young plants will be distributed to community members. Here we have Tundavanala's nursery set up as part of the implementation of the Risk and Natural Disaster Management Project. At present, in the nursery, there are 30,000 seedlings and 10 species. Some will be used for agroforestry, for example, moringa, coffee trees, and acacia. There are also seedlings for construction wood and mostly for soil management. In addition, various awareness activities have been implemented. About 30 radio broadcasts were distributed to radio stations operating in the intervention zone. And Avanala has also initiated collaboration with the National Direction for Education by integrating primary school pupils in sensitizations on risk and natural disaster management. More than 150 school children in five communes of Voipeño district were chosen and mobilized to reinforce the community awareness campaign. The project started at the end of 2015 and less than a year later more than 1,200 households, or about 8,000 people, were reached by sensitization activities and will be able to successfully address any potential risk or natural disaster. Despite the abundance of rains, which caused flooding in 2016, the project area has recorded no victims. It is essential to both consolidate the positive change in the coastal zone and initiate emergency actions in the south. Certainly, through this project, we have touched hundreds of households. We have also brought some women, sometimes heads of households, from darkness to light. And now they can effectively contribute to the sustainable development activities and disaster and risk management. And this is a real positive change.